Hi hey guys and welcome back to another Thread Up unboxing. Tonight I'm going to be opening a five pound DIY jewelry box. I actually ordered this one back on January 17th and it took almost a month to ship. And I wasn't planning on doing a DIY box this week but I just got done watching Brighton's upload from Brighton Your Day. Him and I ordered a box during the same restock back on January 17th, like I said, and he just opened his box on this past Saturday's video, and it was amazing. He had Tiffany and a lot of really great brands. So I was so curious that um, I wanted to see what I got. My box did come from Phoenix, Arizona, so I will get that open and we'll take a look at everything. I will be putting prices in the video, um, whether I say the price or put it on the screen. So if you are interested in purchasing anything from me directly, you would just need to send me an email along with your mailing address if you've never purchased from me before, and I will send you an invoice through PayPal. You do not need to have a PayPal account. You can check out as a guest using a debit credit card or Venmo. There may be another option in there as well. Um, and then it would just be um, the price on the screen plus shipping, which I will calculate based on the weight in your location. So, um, and if you are new to my channel, my name is Lindsay. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and The Real Real. I post mostly thread up unboxings on Mondays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. So if you're not subscribed yet, I would love to have you. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoy the video tonight. I'm going to go ahead and get this open now so we can take a first peek at everything. All right, so here's the box here. It did come wrapped in tissue paper. Okay, so um, the very first item that I'm glancing at is very exciting. There is something brand new on the card from Kate Spade. So that could be something good. There's also something else that might be brand new on the card. Um, a large cuff bracelet. That looks like it's Tory Burch. I've gotten that exact same bracelet before in my name brand handbag box. And um, some really cool pieces in here. So I can't wait to dive in. I will go ahead and get it open and we'll take a look at everything one by one. Right, and I tried to zoom in a little bit, so hopefully the viewing is okay. Um, I will go ahead and just pull all of the single earrings to the side, and we can match them up at the end of the video. Um, this one, it looks like we already do have a pair, and it is like in a clear acrylic with gold foil post back. And it looks like they're in pretty good condition. Here's the other one here. Really lightweight. I don't see any maker's mark on these. Um, we can just do these for $3 if anybody is interested in those. They're pretty. And if you need a measurement on anything, um, you can put a comment below or, or let me know in the email. It looks like this one hooks like that. So I guess it's not broken, just a tassel earring and a nice blue color. So we'll see if we get the mate for that. This is brand new on the card, fashion jewelry. And that may have come with a necklace at the time. That's not present here. It is just gold tone with some red beads. So we could just do a um, dollar on those. Just fashion jewelry earrings. And next up is an earring, two earrings. That's just a single, like a crawler style. And this one kind of looks like it could be a Charming Charlie. And we may have the matching necklace for that one. So I'll put it aside. And I believe the necklace is broken. It is a super pretty um, yellow color with gold tone. So I'm not exactly sure where the missing piece would go or if maybe it was a bracelet or something because the necklace almost looks intact. 
I don't see anything that would necessarily be missing from this. And there is no maker's mark on the necklace and definitely a little bit of wear on the clasp. So I do believe everything's present here, but there is, um, you know, some wear, especially on the back. So we'll just do a dollar and craft on the necklace. We do have another one of these tassel earrings. This one's in pink, and it definitely has some wear on this earring. So we'll put that aside. I think we do have the match to that one. Next up is a necklace. And this is a gold tone, but it looks like there's quite a bit of wear to it. So some of the silver is coming through. And I don't see a maker's mark on this one. This may be the front. So it is gold and silver tone, and then there is pink enamel. So the front of it is in a little bit better condition, but I would still say that there's some wear on it. So um, we could just do that one for $2. And we have a couple of these necklaces. This is exactly the same as the yellow one. And I think all of the components are there. This one is definitely in a lot better condition in terms of the chain. And the back needs a little bit of a cleaning, but it looks like it's in a lot better shape. So on this one, we'll just do um, $2 on that one. And um, hopefully we're not getting some duplicates of the same type of items because this is the exact same set that's in the yellow. So here it is in blue, and it is a bracelet. So this one um, was a bracelet that's broken. So that one will just go into craft. And this one, it looks like it is intact. Um, but again, no maker's mark on it. Just acrylic, gold tone, and we'll do $2 on the bracelet. And here are some um, bangle bracelets. Brighton got something similar in his box that he thought was horn. Um, mine feel like plastic, so they're probably not the same thing. But I will look into those and do a Google image search. But they're kind of cool. And here is just like a bunch of bits and bobbles in here. So that's interesting. I guess we'll go through that at the end. Here is the other earring. And definitely some color loss on this one. So we'll just do craft for a dollar for the pair of the pink. And I think we had a match to this one. And I would say that these have a little bit of wear on the gold tone as well. So we'll just do $2 on these. This is cute, it's like a little Starbucks Frappuccino cup. Just um, seed beaded and um, a fabric backing. This one's pretty. No maker on that one. Um, it seemed like the bead is a little bit loose on the one strand here, but those are really pretty. We'll see if we get the match to that. This is beautiful. It is a brooch with red rhinestones. And it looks like it's a more modern piece. Don't see any maker's mark on it. Um, it looks like it's in pretty good condition. The clasp and everything works. So we'll do $3 on that one. And yeah, a lot of the same type of statement necklaces in here. So, you know, like I said, this box took forever to ship and I did get several emails with them asking if I wanted to cancel my order. So it was almost like they wanted me to cancel it and I was a little nervous as to what might go into the box. Um, and so far things are not looking too great. 
But of course I didn't want to cancel because these boxes are so hard to get that I didn't know when I would be able to replace it. Um, this is Banana Republic, but we're obviously missing a stone there. And otherwise it looks like it's in pretty good condition. So I'll see if we possibly get the stone somewhere in the box. And another type of statement bib necklace. This one's a little twisted. And this is just acrylic, but it is a pretty green. And I don't see a maker's mark on this one. There is a heart on the end. I don't know if that is a maker's mark possibly, but it looks like there's some wear on this one as well. Um, especially on the back, just some color loss, but we can do that one for $2. I did think this was a belt buckle at first. Um, I think it is a belt. It is just a um, like brass tone with blue beads on it and possibly missing one that's there. So I think we're possibly missing a few beads. There may have been one there and then maybe a couple there. And there is definitely some wear on the clasp on the belt. And I don't see any maker on that one, so we'll just put that into crafting. If I do find more of the beads, I will certainly include it with that. Um, but it might be a fun piece to repurpose. I think this is our um, piece from the Banana Republic. This is the back of it. So that would be an easy fix to glue in. So let me take a look again at that necklace. So since we have the missing piece here, I will probably try to fix this and then I'll put a new price on the screen. Just because this box is kind of rough, it's probably gonna be worth my time to um, fix that. So I'll let you guys know about that one. And this just seems like an acrylic bangle and there is some wear to it, a scratch or something there. And I don't see any branding on it. It definitely needs a bit of a cleaning. So yeah, this one is in need of a cleaning and it does have a scratch there with that white mark. So we'll just do a dollar on that one. So this is just a really long necklace. It's really pretty. I think it's just all acrylic. And um, there are some chips of tiger's eye or something like that. I'm not sure if it's maybe just faux though because nothing's real cold to the touch. And I can't really figure out how this necklace is supposed to go because there's the clasp here. I don't know if it's tangled, but I'm just gonna put all of it into craft for a dollar if anybody's interested, but it is pretty. Next is an earring and it's like a shooting star, silver tone. I don't see any branding on that one. Here's our other blue earring. So these are in better condition than the pink ones were. And there is a mark on these. So it is sugar fix. So the pink ones were definitely had a lot of chipping and color loss. These ones need a bit of a cleaning. Um, I'll just do $2 on those. So, so far this box is leaving a lot to be desired. Hoping there might be a hidden gem somewhere in here. 
but definitely nowhere as good as uh, what Brighton had. So this one um, already had some kind of repair there. Um, so this is just gonna be into craft for a dollar. This necklace is kind of nice. It does have some weight to it. It is a silver tone chain with a shepherd's hook clasp. And I don't see any branding on this one. And it's definitely just costume. So a nice collar necklace and it does have the extender. So there's what it looks like clasped. And I would say there's a little bit of wear on it. Um, so we'll just do $3 on that one, but it is a nice piece. I'm gonna have to go for the Kate Spades because this box is pretty depressing so far. Um, so we do have some Kate Spade earrings and these are definitely weighty. They are um, missing something. Oh no. So see how that one has that black ball? This one is missing. Otherwise, they're brand new on the card. They originally had a $68 tag on them. So possibly that might be in here. Um, that is a bummer. So I'm going to put those aside. I'm not going to put them into craft even if we can't find it because I might come across something that I could fix them with but um, hopefully we have that missing component somewhere in here. And here was another earring, and this one is really in bad shape, so that'll just go into craft. We do have a couple earring backers here, and these are marked. These uh, are marked Stella and Dot, so maybe we have some Stella and Dot somewhere in the box. Here is the other earring that I just put into craft. That'll go into craft as well, the pink earring. Next, we have a branded piece, so that's a positive. It is Express, so just a really dainty necklace with the tassel, and then it does have uh, rhinestones and gold tone, and it is marked Express. So good piece there at least. Um, it looks like it's in good condition, so we'll do $4 on that one. Here's a ring. And I believe this one is just costume. There's a ton of wear on it. Some really pretty stones on it, but the metal is completely worn. So that'll just go into crafting. We have an earring here. And this is kind of pretty, but it does have some wear on it and needs a cleaning. So we'll see if we get a match to that. And we have another one of these plastic bangles. Um, this one also has some scratching on it. So we'll just do a dollar on that one. And we have another bangle. I think this one is different, but also a lot of wear on it and scratching. So just a dollar on that. And this box is just horrible so far. Um, this one I think is Ann Taylor possibly, um, but a ton of wear on the chain. So that one will just be a dollar. It's really worn along the chain. Here's a pretty beaded earring. Hopefully we get the match to that one. And um, next is a little cuff bracelet and this is pretty. pretty good shape, but there is somewhere to it. 
and it is just gold tone and you know definitely a little bit pliable so we'll do two dollars on that one Next, we have a bangle bracelet, and this one, yet again, has a lot of wear to it. It's not picking up as magnetic. So I will put it aside and test it. I don't think it's sterling, but I will put it aside and test. Here is a stud earring and a lot of wear on that one. I do have something in another Ziploc. This box just seems like it was really thrown together with a lot of junk. So I don't even know what this is, if it's a purse strap possibly to use on a clutch. It has the little hooks here where you just kind of push them in. So it could be worn with a dainty clutch. Um, we'll do two, $2 on that one. Yes, the only decent thing about this box is it's not gonna take me long to edit this video because there's not gonna be anything I need to research. Um, I do see another bead in here for the belt. So like I said, I will put those all together. Um, here is an earring that says Mrs. And it's like a rose gold color. That's pretty. Um, we have another acrylic fashion um, statement necklace and a lot of wear and color loss. It is a pretty pink color. I think everything is present, but um, a lot of color loss on it. So just a dollar on that. Our other seed bead earring. And, um, you know, like I said, this one, the strand on the end is just a little bit loose but um, otherwise they're in pretty good condition. They're fairly lightweight. They need a little bit of a lint rolling, but otherwise um, they are very pretty. Um, we will do $3 on those. Oh, I, for I did forget about this, guys. Um, so this is a Tory Burch cuff. And um, I have gotten this exact same one in my name brand handbag box before, and I've sold it. Um, it definitely needs a cleaning. It does fit a small wrist. So that one um, will probably need a measurement too, so I can put that on the screen. Um, but there's just not much give um, with these. But overall, it looks like it's in good condition once it's cleaned up. So that is exciting, at least, you know, that's the best item in the box so far. Next up is a stretch bracelet, and um, this one is really pretty, kind of metallic, frosted type beads on it. Um, the stretch is not that great, though. It looks like it's got some wear to the stretch. So that would be a fun crafting piece. So we'll just do a dollar. We have another one of these chains. Now I do remember in one of Brighton's other videos, he had gotten a um, Ziploc bag like this and it had that Cartier ring in it. So maybe they threw us a bone and put something fantastic in here. Um, that is something that we'll, we definitely need to hope for. So we'll leave that to the end. Um, this is the exact same thing as the other one. So I think I said $2 on the other one. So we'll do $2 on this. Just a really lightweight, um, dainty chain. Oh, here's an earring. Very similar style to all of the other statement necklaces. This one is actually in pretty good condition. It's a pretty yellow. And we do have another piece to whatever that bracelet was, I'm guessing. So that'll go with the bracelet and craft. 
and here is the earrings. So we'll just do a dollar on these. They are in good condition, a little bit of wear and color loss on the hooks. But overall, not terrible, but we'll just do a dollar on those. This is an earring. I'm not sure what that material is, but it feels kind of plasticky. And here's a really pretty like Tiffany blue um, beaded necklace. And then there's the gold tone spacer beads in it. And definitely some color loss along the clasp. Possibly that was replaced at some point. But it is really pretty. Um, maybe a little bit of color loss on that one. It's kind of more green. So we'll just do $2 on that one. We have another stretch bracelet, and this one has some loose strings on there, so we'll just do a dollar. This is pretty, um, a post back earring. I don't see any branding on that one. So we'll see if we get the match. We do have a ring here. This one is made well. So let me get my sizer on that. All right, the Madewell ring, it is small. Um, it can be forced down to a size five. So it just has like an H pattern in their signature matte gold tone. So it's a matte gold tone, there's a little rhinestone there and then a silver tone plate. Um, there is definitely some wear on the metal some color loss, um, but the top part of it looks like it's in pretty good shape. So we'll just do $4 on this one. I have a hoop earring here and probably just silver tone. Yep. And a lot of wear on that one, so that'll go into craft. We have a gold tone hoop. Um, it's actually gold tone and then it has a blue enamel. And I do not see a maker's mark on that one. Here's the other earring. These definitely need a bit of a cleaning. And, you know, just somewhere. So we'll do a dollar on those. And I think we had a match to this one. Yeah, these are actually pretty. They're a gold tone and then they have the rhinestones, um, but they do have mismatched backs and a little bit of verdigris. So those would be a dollar. We have a stud earring. And this one's really lightweight, um, probably just an acrylic stone, but it does have like an AB finish on it. So it's pretty. And this is cute. It's like a little bear with a cabochon belly. I think this maybe matches this, but they look quite a bit different. Um, and it's broken. So just a dollar on those. We do have a match to these little Starbucks earrings. Um, they are very cute. They're obviously not officially Starbucks, but they're inspired by Starbucks. And I can put some backers on there, um, but they are cute. So let's do $2 on those. And this is cute. It's like a little gummy bear earring. And that one actually looks like it's in good shape. So maybe we have a maker, or I'm sorry, a match on that one. We do have a match on these Mrs. Earrings and a rose gold. I think they're in, you know, relatively good condition. I might do a um, image search on them, but they're just costume. But they are cute um, little dainty studs. And 
here's our other um, cluster earring. And these are, um, they're pretty, they're beaded and they do have an AB finish or a green color with a silver tone back. And I will put, um, you know, another back on it so they both have one. Um, we'll do $3 on those, they're pretty. So we did get one of these in another color. This one looks like it's in a little bit worse condition than the other one. So at this point, I wish I would have canceled the order. Um, it was just so hard because, you know, it might be months before you can get another one of these boxes. So I didn't want to risk it, but I did have a feeling that it could be just terrible. Um, this necklace is marked Monet. And that's an interesting clasp. I've never seen a clasp like that before. I don't know if that's original to the piece or if it was replaced, but that's really cool. Um, and there is some wear along the clasp. And I would say it needs a little bit of a cleaning, um, but a pretty cool vintage uh, necklace. So we'll do $5 on that one. We do have another brooch here. This one, the clasp is not turning, so it will need a repair. Um, and it's also missing some stones, so that'll be a dollar. And these are just marked stainless steel china. These little drop earrings. We do have the match right here. So I would say they're in pretty good condition. Um, maybe some scratching on them. So we'll just do $2 on those. Here's the other yellow earring. And I do believe all the stones are there. And they're not in bad condition. Um, we'll do $2 on those, they're pretty. We have a little twisty um, type earring. And it is magnetic. It's a uh, twisted rope chain necklace with gold tone and then um, a white chain through it. This one does have some wear, but it's not in bad condition. Um, we'll just do $2 on this one. We have another earring. We do have a match to these studs. Beautiful stone on there. And definitely some wear on the back, so I would replace those. I would also say there's some wear on the AB coating as well. Um, so I'll just do those in craft for a dollar. But they do still have quite a bit of sparkle left to them. And this is pretty. This looks familiar. I don't know if I got another earring like this in another box, but it looks familiar to me. But really pretty colors on it. Another bead for that belt. These look like they're just um, for eyeglasses. Plastic, a dollar. And this was just broke off of something. Been getting any glass pieces. It's all acrylic costume. No sterling or even potential sterling pieces. Oh, I think we might be missing a strand here. So that'll just go into craft. We have a 
Um, bangle bracelet, green enamel with rhinestones. And I don't see a maker on that one. One is actually in decent condition, so we'll do $2 on that. I don't think I will be making my money back on this box. Really nothing to even list. Um, these are pretty. So we do have a mark on this. So this earring is stamped 925. The back is at least. Any make, or I don't see any mark on the actual earring though, just on the, on the post back. But that is a really pretty stone. So I will um, test that. So I took everything else out. This is it other than that final Ziploc bag. And I'm really thinking that I jinxed myself because I was saying how, you know, this box is so much better than the Goodwill Blue Box because it doesn't have all the bits and bobbles. And look what they sent me. Um, these are actually pretty. Um, they have like an antique gold tone and um, this like bluish black tassel on them. And they do have a little bit of wear. Um, we'll just do $2 on those, but they are pretty. And we have a earring there. And this is a really um, pretty seed bead, um, or actually pearl. I think those are real pearls. And then they have some spacer beads. And that one has a clasp that just pushes in like that. And it is a double layer, really dainty. So we'll just do $5 on this one. That's pretty. An anklet gold tone and then it kind of has like a flower pattern on it and that one's in good condition I don't see a maker's mark um, so we'll do three dollars on that one pretty this is kind of similar to that that other necklace with the um, like faux tiger's eye chips in it. It's super lightweight. Um, I'll just do a dollar on that one. And this is, um, we did get a match to this one, but this one's missing the earring hook. And they are magnetic, so I'll just put both of those into craft. So this one is a really dainty um, gold tone paper clip chain and it is marked. So this one is marked 925 Danecraft. So this is um, probably a vintage necklace and a vermeil, and it's really pretty. We have another earring backer there. We did get a match to these shooting star dangle earrings. And I think we have all of the components on them. These are in very good condition. Definitely magnetic. And there's no maker's mark on these. I'll do $3. Here's our other earring. It's like a little, um, I don't think it's supposed to be a bear, but it reminds me of a bear with a cabochon belly, but it might just be, you know, like a rhinestone cluster earring. And I don't see any maker on there. And there is some wear to the backs of them. 
So we'll just do $2 on those. We did not get a match to our little gummy bear earring. We have this um, faux pearl and just silver tone necklace and it is broken, so that will go into craft. And we have this pretty statement necklace with these AB rhinestones they are like a champagne color with gold tone metal. And I don't see a maker on that one. This one's in pretty good condition, a little bit of wear. And I believe that we have everything present on it. It is really pretty. So we'll do $3 on that one. And our last item is a seed bead necklace. I'm not sure what's really going on with the clasp or if there is one. It just looks kind of strange the way that is, but it's not a clasp. So I don't know about that one. I might um, Google image search that. It is pretty, but I'm not really sure what it is. Okay, so that was it. Other than um, we did not get a match to this, I guess I will keep the earrings aside. And we did not get a fix for the sad Kate Spade. So between the Kate Spade and the Tory Burch, that would have paid for the box. Um, we definitely need something special in here. And I'm not really looking forward to going through all these little bits. So. This is cute. Unless you're scared of clowns, but it is a brooch. And it has a little articulated uh, head on it. This one's in really good condition. I don't see a maker's mark on it. We'll see if I can find anything out about that piece, but it's in very good condition. And we do have a dainty ring that kind of looks similar to the other ring that had a lot of wear. Get a yellow gummy bear earring. And we got his match. So those are really cute. We'll do um, $3 on those. They're in very good condition. There's a lot of rings in here. So I'll kind of put them all together. And just a ton of loose earring backs. This is from Pretty Girl Finds. And it looks like those could be amethyst chips on them. And like a tree of life inside the heart, or inside the star, I mean. It's all magnetic, so just silver tone. Um, we'll do $4 on these, they're pretty. There's some vintage uh, clip-on earrings with faux pearl. Some little acrylic uh, rose earrings. We did get the um, blue gummy bear earrings. Those ones are in good condition. I will put backs on those. Um, we'll just do $2 on these and then $2 on the yellow ones. And blue and pink, $2 on those. We have a pair of vintage uh, faux pearl teardrop shape clip earrings. We'll do $3 on those. A pair of the gummy bear earrings. These have like an ombre effect to them. We'll do um, $2 on those. We do have a match to these um, little hoop earrings. They are magnetic. So we'll just do a dollar on these. I'm just pulling all the rings out and setting them aside. There's a ton of them in here. These are actually cute little cow enamel earrings. And they look like they're in pretty good condition. So we'll just do $2 on those. We have these fashion jewelry, um, little star earrings, a dollar. Get a match on these uh, gummy bear earrings, so $2 on those. 
Okay, so I took some time and sorted through all of the rings. There were quite a few just costume rings in there and I'm not gonna go over them one by one because there's just too much here. So I did place them all into this um, bag. They are varying sizes, metal colors. Some of them might have um, some level of wear, but if anybody's interested in this entire bundle, I would just do $5 on that. And then there were a couple more special rings that I wanted to show. We did have a couple sterling pieces that were hiding in the pile. And um, I also went through and just got everything untangled and earrings matched up just so we can move this along a little quicker. So these were really pretty um, little dainty um, dangle earrings with a pink rhinestone and clear rhinestone. We could do those for two. There was this um, really dainty gold tone with faux pearl necklace, um, you know, more of a collar necklace on the shorter side. We could do $3. That one was in good condition. And I will move this clown just in case anybody is not feeling him, but I thought he was really cool. Um, this one, um, a bracelet, and I believe these are just acrylic, and um, we could do $3 on that. It was in good condition. We had um, this ring, which was um, sterling, and it did test for sterling, and possibly a turquoise. There is some patina on there, um, but it's in good condition. And it was stamped and tested, and it is marked in the inside um, sterling. So it could be an older piece. And let's go ahead and get a size on this one. It is on the smaller side. Um, it is about a five and a quarter. So really nice um, sterling ring. We'll do 15 on that one. And this ring was absolutely stunning. It is a vintage Sarah Coventry silver tone and then these really deep red ruby colored uh, rhinestones on it and it is stamped sarah cove and i will put some pricing on the screen on that one i forgot what i was going to ask for it so i will post that but i thought that was absolutely beautiful and the size on that ring um, it can be pushed down to a six so it's sitting right at a six on the mandrel and absolutely beautiful. There is just one little um, flea bite or something on the rhinestone, but in general, it's in beautiful condition. So I really like that one a lot. So that was a nice piece. Um, this earring that we looked at a while ago did test positive for sterling. So that might be a ruby in there, but unfortunately we did not get a match for that one. So I will just keep it to the side. Um, we did get a few rings that did test for sterling. And then they were these three. So this one um, was a gold vermeil with clear rhinestones and it is a bypass style ring. So it does have some adjustability to it, um, really dainty. And um, this one's sitting about six and three quarters currently. There it is. Um, but you, you know, could wear it smaller or possibly extend it down a little bit. There it is at a seven. So we'll do $10 on that one, really pretty and dainty. And then um, this one is absolutely beautiful, another gold vermeil. And um, it's got like kind of a, um, I don't know what the center stone is, but it kind of looks like a crystal ball. Um, really, really pretty. And this one is about a six and a half. So, so pretty on that one. That would be 
cool to stack up with some other rings. Um, really, really pretty. And I think that was our last ring. And the rest are mostly earrings. Oh, we did get this, um, this ring too. This one was also sterling, another dainty one. Um, this one is cut out in the back, so it is adjustable. So you could comfortably stretch it out to about a seven and it could go smaller as well. So that one was super pretty. Um, we'll do $10 on that one too. And I don't think I gave a price on that one, um, $10 on that. So $10 on each of those um, sterling or vermeil rings, and then 15 for the one um, that may be a turquoise. And um, we had a little hair clip here, a dollar. These um, were kind of pretty, these, um, they're like a fabric butterfly. And then they have a gold tone um, dangle. This one is sitting a little bit longer than the other one, so we'll just do a dollar on those. They may be missing something. We had another pair of gummy bear earrings. These one have a, a little acrylic chain on them, $2. We had some little daisy earrings. And these ones do have a little bit of wear on them. We'll just do a dollar and I can put some backers on there. And we have these Eiffel Tower earrings, which were pretty cool. They did not test for sterling. So just um, silver tone and they are in pretty good condition. We'll do $3. And then same with these lighthouse earrings. These ones do have a little bit of patina on them, but they were just silver tone as well. No sterling, um, $3. And we had a pair of these um, cat earrings. These ones also have quite a bit of patina on them. And um, they did light up slightly blue, so they might be silver plated, but I could not get a strong enough read to say that they're sterling. Um, so we'll just do $2 on those because they do show quite a bit of patina. Um, and then we had another pair of the silver tone earrings, some uh, balloons. Be very cute with the clown, um, $3 on those. We had the silver tone and faux pearl little snowman necklace, which is really sweet. This one is signed Claire's and it was in good condition. It was part of that tangle in this box. Um, so this one we could just do $3 on. And we had just a little beaded necklace with a gold tone chain and um, lobster clasp. We do $2 on that one. We had these little rose stud earrings and acrylic and they do need a cleaning, so we'll do a dollar on those. We have these little dainty heart earrings, a little bit of wear on these. Um, post back, we'll do $2 on those. We got these adorable little pizza studs, rhinestones. And these ones were in good condition, gold tone, $2. These ones kind of look like little Mickey Mouse hands. And they do have some wear on the back. So we'll just do a dollar on those. And these might be like a Mickey Mouse bottom. Um, but these ones also have wear, so we'll just do two for a dollar on those potential Disney ones. To get a match to these um, dangle earrings, they have a like a shooting star on them, silver tone. Um, these are in really good condition, three dollars. And I thought these were really pretty. They're a rhinestone cluster. 
There's a faux pearl, a clear rhinestone, and then an opalescent stone on there. Um, these are silver tone and in pretty good condition. We'll do $3. This one was a single earring. We had a giraffe. These were similar to the cow ones from earlier. Those were in good condition, $2. We had these really dainty um, little gold tone ball studs. Um, these ones were in good shape, a um, dollar on those. I don't think we got a match to this earring, but that was really pretty. And we had these little um, mushroom studs. They're uh, lavender purple and gold tone. And those ones are in good shape. We can do a dollar on those. We had this Hello Kitty um, bracelet silver tone and rhinestone. I believe all the stones are there. I will check it out a little better under a magnifying glass if anybody is interested in it, but assuming they're all there, um, it was in pretty good condition. Um, some light wear um, on the back especially. Um, we'll just do um, $3 on that. And then we had these earrings, kind of a half moon with a faux pearl. And um, we can do those for $3. These ones were in good condition. And a very similar set here with another moon and some dangles. These ones kind of remind me of Kirk's Folly. Um, they are unsigned and in decent condition. We can do $3 on those. So I think we covered everything in terms of the earrings. And um, that was about it. Oh, there was um, this ring here. This one is stamp 925, but it did not test for sterling silver. So it is maybe plated um, or just silver tone, but it really is stunning. A beautiful stone on it. So if anybody's interested in this one, I would just do $5. And this one is a size, um, it's coming in just over a six. So maybe a six and a quarter on that one, but absolutely beautiful. That was about all um, in the box. Um, this Dane Craft, um, if you saw that on the screen, that did test for sterling silver. So that was a really cool piece. And our Tory Birch cuff, I did sell um, the same one before on Poshmark for 45. So that should get a few dollars. And then we did get a couple sterling rings. These three here. And then the turquoise one but really, really slim pickings in terms of standouts in this box. Um, definitely the worst um, of these that I've opened, but you know, all of these rescue boxes are a risk, so it's good that you could kind of see, you know, the good and the bad, so you know what to expect if you order one of these, um, or what not to expect, because you just have no idea what is gonna be put in these. Um, but it was still fun to go through. I, you know, think there are still a few sellable pieces. So thank you so much for hanging in and watching the video. And I will be back Monday with another unboxing. We'll be opening a designer box and hopefully it will have a little more wow factor than this box. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye.